uh, when we graph just a regular log function, let's say log base five of x, if I just graph a regular log function, we're gonna have an asymptote right here and your function goes like this. Right, right, right. Okay, and now this point right here, you should know right away. And the reason why you should know that one right away is what is y equal at this point? It equals zero. And so what power, um, what power of x would give you zero? One, right? So if I plug a one in right here, would I get zero? What power of five, what, oh, I'm sorry, I said what power of x. What power <laughs> of five equals x? Okay, wait, what power, that's zero. So five raised to the zero power, here, let me write it out. Five <laughs> raises, I'm just like, you're like, that didn't make it any better. Okay, uh, what power of five is x? What power of five is x? What? Zero. That's zero. Yeah, it's zero. Oh, I, I'm just making it more confusing, huh? Yeah. Okay, so it says what power of five is x? So, but we know it's zero, right? So five to the zero equals x, and what is five to the zero? Is one. So sorry, that was that wasn't that <laughs> clear. <laughs> wow. Okay. So because this is our y right here, chick gang. All right. And so that's how you would find the x-intercept, no problem. Okay. Now the domain of this guy, because um, this function did not shift to the left or to the right, I know my asymptote is at x equals zero. This asymptote is at x equals zero. That means uh, we have nothing over here on this side for this function, so my domain is simply zero to infinity. So like the vertical asymptote, like the vertical asymptote is determined by a horizontal shift. So like if it was 43, so you it would be... Like, okay, yeah, yeah. So 43, we have a plus two right here. That means what happens to this? It shifts to the, to the left two. So that then this is going to be from negative 2 to infinity instead of 0 to infinity. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the, the domain will not change unless you're adding and subtracting to the x. Like this one, the domain is going to change because we're subtracting 2 from the x. If I subtract 2, what would happen to my asymptote? It moves to the right 2. So that's how you find the domain. That's how you find the x-intercept. The vertical asymptote is determined also by what's happening to the x if we're adding or subtracting to the x. Does this make sense? Yeah? yeah? Can you do those now? I don't want to take your problems away. You guys have all the answers to these problems. Uh, give them a shot. Um, and when you sketch the graph, you don't have to be really specific. You can just be like, like what I did right here. It just has this general shape. Number 18.